You ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Today we're making a pizza with porcini mushrooms foraged right here in our local forest near Bend, Oregon. You are not gonna wanna miss this. Keep watching. Hey there, I'm John. And I'm Katie, and welcome to Pizza with Plants. What are we making today? We are making a special pizza today. The We're making a pizza with porcini mushrooms, and these mushrooms were given to us by a dear friend of mine named Lowell. He and his son uh, forage mushrooms in the area, um, literally in our well, back. Well, we don't actually know where. Yeah, it's like top don't. secret. Yeah, top secret. But Mus nearby. But it, yeah, they, which I think is just super, super cool. Yeah. So that's going to be kind of the star of the show. We're going to rehydrate them. Cook them up with just yeah. a little bit of salt and pepper. Want to, we really want the flavor of them to come through. The natural flavor. Um, but then we are going to, what are we going to do with these beautiful pearl onions? We're going to roast our onions in garlic. We're going to use our homemade vegan pesto. To Genovese, so Genovese. traditional pesto. Yeah. And then we're going to... Oh, we're, are we get, doing the balsamic glaze after the yeah. end? No. Glaze. We're going to be making a, bals a homemade balsamic glaze because it's super easy and it's less expensive than buying the glaze at the store. And we're actually going to... And it has nothing. It doesn't have stuff in it. Yeah. It's like fresh. And so, but we're going to roast the pearl onions and the garlic in a little bit of our... Con a special coffee. Yeah. Meat. This is a confit oil from tomatoes and garlic. And we'll do a combo of the glaze and then the confit oil. And that's what the onions and the garlic are going to be roasted in. So. And then they'll all go on the pizza. Yes. And... and with our BioLife. Yes, we're going to be using BioLife uh, mozzarella shreds today. Yeah. So this is going to be really yummy. It is. It's I going to be Can good. we taste it yet? No, we can't taste it yet. And I'm super excited for Lowell to watch this because yeah. without him, mushrooms. we wouldn't have the mushrooms. Yeah. So thank you. Let's make pizza. To get things started, we're going to get Lowell's mushrooms rehydrated. To do that, we're just going to cover them with some lukewarm water for about 20 minutes. And halfway through, I'm just going to give them a quick stir. While the mushrooms are doing their thing, we're going to get our balsamic glaze started. This is so easy to make. You should never buy glaze again at the store. And it's only got two ingredients, so you know exactly what's in it. So we're going to start off by getting our pan nice and warm. Get your balsamic vinegar in there and then get your brown sugar in and just kind of stir it to combine. As you can see, the glaze is starting to bubble a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and drop the temperature to low and then just stir it every so often so it doesn't scald on the bottom of the pan. It's been about 20 minutes, so the porcinis are ready. We're gonna go ahead and get those drained off, hold on to this broth, strain it again, but it is phenomenal to use in any kind of a broth that you're making. Next, we're gonna get ready to peel our pearl onions. To do that, you wanna get some boiling water going. Drop your pearl onions in there for no more than two minutes and then immediately get them into an ice bath. The balsamic glaze is done and it looks great. As Katie's showing you, you want the consistency to be enough that it'll coat the spoon. But remember, as it cools down, it'll continue to thicken as well. Now I'm going to peel these pearl onions. I'm going to be honest, this is not the easiest thing to do, but it's worth the work. First start off by cutting the root end off and then you just want to kind of squeeze it, if you will, and the top layer or two of the onion should slide off and then what you're left with is what you're going to cook. Now that the onions are ready, we're going to get those and the peeled garlic into a pan. We're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top and some of our balsamic glaze. We're going to throw that into an oven that's been preheating at 300 degrees and let them cook. 
The onions and garlic have been going for about 20 minutes, so we're just gonna pull them out, give them a quick stir, and then let them roast for another 20 minutes. The onions and garlic are ready to go and they look great. They are gonna be so awesome on this pizza. The last step is to get those beautiful porcinis cooked up. We're just gonna par cook them. So I'm gonna get a pan heated up over medium high heat. I'm gonna add the mushrooms, give them a quick drizzle with some infused olive oil, just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then just toss them around for probably about three to five minutes. We are ready to make some pizza. Get your dough out onto a floured surface and start working it into the form that you want. And when that's ready, go ahead and get it onto a semolina coated pizza peel. For the base on this, we're going to be using our pesto alla Genovese. There's a link down below for the recipe, completely vegan, it'll blow your mind. The cheese we're using today is a Viola Life mozzarella. And then after that, we're gonna be putting some of Lowell's porcini mushrooms on the top. And then following that up with our roasted pearl onions and garlic. What do you think? I think it's going to be delicious. It, delicious. It looks super tasty. It looks complex. It, yeah, just there's just a lot going on. It looks super savory. I don't know who in the hell this silverware is for, but I I am not a Nancy boy, so I am just going I to face know. plant it. Okay, we'll see. It looks because there's the onion and there's the garlic and there's the mushrooms. There's a, yes, there's a lot going on. Lowell, thank you again. This looks absolutely amazing, and we couldn't have done it without your mushrooms. Yeah. So here we go. I've been scouting this piece out for about twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I want this one because I want a little yes. bit of everything. Yeah, well, I am just going to get after it. Here we go. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. That's yummy. And the balsamic glaze. Uh. We put some balsamic glaze on it My before it went in the oven and then a little uh, when it came out and it's just really rustic, really, uh, really it is good. So, this might be one of my favorites. I don't know if I have any words that could really, there's so much going on. You get the meatiness from the mushrooms mm -hmm. and the balsamic glaze, the, the onions are super sweet. The garlic offer a bite, but they're mellow because mm -hmm. we roasted all of it. Yeah. It's really good. It's so This is yummy. gourmet. It's like five star pizza. Yes. yes. Million dollar pizza. I'm gonna lease the restaurant space and here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is super tasty. This we need good. like a high end plant based pizza restaurant. Yep. That's um I have a day job though, but I love something. I know, I know you do. So, but this is really This tasty. was yummy. This super good. Is super good. Yes. Thank you, Lowell. Yes. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Days. Appreciate it. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Hope that you've enjoyed watching this. If you have, give us a like and subscribe. Tell every human being that you interact with on a daily basis about us. Um, and be kind. Eat pizza. With plants. See ya. <laughs>